Coach Lillard's competitive. He's aggressive. Uh, he's a guy who understands the game. Um, I know it's tough for him, you know, being out there, not being able to physically play. It's the first time for him, you know, in a long time, you know, having to watch. So I think he's, he's handled it well. He's done a good job of being engaged, you know, overly engaged in terms of, you know, breaking down the film. And when I come out of the game, I'm like, what you see, Dan? What you see? You know, and I think he's, he's helped me a lot. Uh, he also brought up the P word, said that you looked at the standings, you guys are only a couple games out of the playoffs. <laughs> Is that something you know you're all looking at? I've been aware of that you know since the season started. Uh, we don't talk about it. We don't feel the need to discuss it. But you know it's something that that's obvious and it's there and it's attainable. So you know we're going to continue to try to compete at a high level and continue to put ourselves in a position to try to make an impact and try to make a push for that. Would you say you check the standings pretty much every day? I, I don't have to check. I, I know wins and losses. So. Every few days, you, you know who's winning and who's losing and, and where you stand. I know that you want name back, uh, but how, has it helped you a little bit to be out there without him a little bit for your game? I mean, obviously, you want to play alongside the All-Star whenever you can. Uh, it makes the game easier. You know, it takes less pressure off me and everyone else and uh, allows us to be at full strength. But at the same time, i got to take advantage of whatever's there. And if I need to play more minutes, if I need to carry a, a stronger load, then I'm prepared to do that. So uh, I think it's... You know, more so, you know, not not for myself because I already know what I'm capable of, but for the team, the organization to see that I can hold down the fort until he comes back. And then once he comes back, we'll, we'll jump right back into where we were. Did he seem to be moving pretty good today in practice? I mean, yeah, Dane looks good. Uh, body body still looks good. He's still in good shape. Uh, it's just more about a comfort level. So, he, you know, we don't know what pain he's going through because he does a good job of, of masking the pain and fighting through a lot of things. But it's more about what he can withstand and how he can get in and out of cuts. I think that's the biggest thing when you have the foot or the ankle stuff. It's the... You run straight line is cool, but the cutting the in and out of stuff, that's the it's different when you're trying to guard somebody when you're manipulating screens and you never know which way the foot's gonna turn.